All right, John, the year was 1979, and Mike Kentrianakis saw his first total solar eclipse. That was the start of a 45-year journey, and now many refer to him as America's favorite eclipse chaser. Mike Kentrianakis is also an American Astronomical Society Eclipse Project Manager and a member of the Amateur Astronomers Association of New York. And he calls viewing a total solar eclipse a life-changing moment. It's, it's actually a feeling, an emotion, and it's an experience. It's not something that can be conveyed on pictures, on film, uh, in poetry, in art. They try, we try to emulate it, but I say, and I have said this before, it changes your life. He saw his first eclipse at age 14 and has been hooked ever since. I didn't realize that later in life I could be valuable, valuable in this way to try to tell people about it. And it's not something you can go to school for. It's not something you can learn in a book. No one can make an eclipse happen. He has seen 14 total solar eclipses. And one way to beat odds it for if there are clouds in the sky is to place yourself on the, the center line for the duration and you're giving yourself more time to possibly get a cloud to clear because the clouds are moving so i just did that and there was an opening in the sky it was magical he has gone above and beyond to enjoy the short but incredible moment I noticed that when I went out to the Scotia Sea on an airplane toward Antarctica, off the Falkland Islands in a Dreamliner, I found that I was crying in tears. That was the first time I ever cried during a total solar eclipse. So that really hit me. Absolutely perfect. Wow. And Mike has a location in mind for watching the April 8th total solar eclipse, but he has not ruled out being in Erie County on that day. Just all depends on weather conditions.